There's a lot of false prophets, baby. I'm a false prophet. You got to prove it. I'm a false prophet. Hey, I'm a truth seeker, baby. I seek out the truth. You don't truth As soon as I won that title, you got injured. Yeah, like I don't want like more I money said, in my bank account. Once I like get I that WC, once I get that WC belt, you gonna you gonna retire. You ain't gonna get it. How am I gonna get it? You gonna get injured again. You gonna get injured again. You gonna get injured again. See, he must got some voodoo people. He done pay. He paid some juju. He got some bad juju. Look, look, he got some bad juju going my way. See, I'm gonna have to go get the Holy Cross real after this right now. Uh, that was a fun one. Uh, you know, that could be the fight that you get the most right now. It's, it's, it's a, a fighting fight. words. I, you know, Errol Spence is an undefeated champion. I'm an undefeated champion. I really enjoy defeating Danny Garcia. He's an undefeated champion. We are young. We are still hungry. hungry. And these are great fights to be made. To be 100% honest, the day that I turned pro, that I just lost to Demetrius Andrade. And, well, I say it's the day I turned pro because I knew that was my last amateur fight and I wasn't going to take no amateur fight. I was only looking to turn professional after that loss. And I told myself, you are the number two fighter in America. Worst case scenario, you work your way up as a pro. You go to fight the number one guy. And one day you find out that, let's say you lose again. That was the day I lost. So I was a little depressed, a little morbid thoughts going through my head. So I said to myself, if I go to the top and I lose again, and I'm the number two fighter in the world, as a career in a sport that you love, what can I have more than that? Obviously being number one, but I'm just saying though, that's, that's the kind of humility that I have. I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do what I love to do, to choose the career path that I've chosen. There's a lot of great fighters that didn't make Oh, uh, <laughs> Mikey's was 949. That <laughs> Earl's, Mikey was 949. To, or just athletes in general that didn't make it through college, didn't make it to the big leagues, you know? So I'm just happy to live the life that is keep one time for they're gonna wrap us up. We're here because we have a fight coming up. Yeah, and also you're part of this massive platform right now. Talk about the fight that you're. Who are you fighting? Jose Cito Lopez. Oh yeah, duh. Jose Cito Lopez. And what what day is it? March 24th. March. January 26th. Okay. You know what? I'm throwing out dates because there's so many dates today. Yeah. Uh, with smoking. Talk about that fight. How do you do you see this as a dangerous? Well, all fights are dangerous for all boxers. What do you see that's going to? Oh, we are. Cut. Okay. Obviously, Jose Cinto Lopez is going to be happy to have a shot at a world title. I don't know. And, and he's going to bring the best foot forward. I simply just want to show the world that he found his back. And I'm going to present my skills and talents to Jose Cinto Lopez and just show him what a real champion looks like and what it feels like to be punched by Keith Lopez.